Hey, so if you were following YouTube this morning, you could not miss YouTube Rewind 2013, a compilation of YouTube stars and moments put together in one, I think, cool video with people like, for example, Justine Erzik and Mr. Guitar Man, who I've known for years, great guy, and other newer YouTube stars like Jenna Marbles and so on. Oh, and of course, PewDiePie, who is the most subscribed blogger on YouTube, or entertainer, or game reviewer, right? Here's my point. We do not have conversations on YouTube anymore. YouTube has effectively killed them. When YouTube was first born in 2005, its first website design encouraged conversations. It actually grouped like conversations together. That doesn't happen anymore. In fact, YouTube has been replaced, excuse me, the content on YouTube has evolved, if you will, or changed. Not so much evolved as improved, but changed from conversations between vloggers to these snippets of things that happen in our lives, either real or fake. It might be a fight in a McDonald's or something, or it might be somebody stripping naked on a train, or it might be a woman dancing at her office because she's pissed off with her boss and so she quits her job. You get the idea. But all of these are moments in time that become blips. And so YouTube has become, for all practical purposes, a new blip TV with real blips. Nothing meaningful anymore. I miss the time in 2006 when we all discovered that Lonely Girl 15 was actually an actress. Lonely Girl 15 was this vlogger who made these vlogs in her bedroom and everyone thought that Brie was real and it turned out that Brie was fake and she had an agent through CAA in Beverly Hills. In fact, CAA actually created Lonely Girl 15. That's the short version of a very long story as to how that came about. But we all had conversations about it on YouTube. Or we had conversations about politics or conversations about developments. And that's still the point today that we are beset with major changes around us. Not just, for example, the healthcare issue locally, but the proliferation of nuclear weapons or the Arab Spring and changes in the Middle East and politics, but there's no place on YouTube to talk about them. And somewhere, someone in YouTube up high has decided, I think it's a wrong decision, that they can't gain advertisers by allowing conversations about politics and life and culture. That is so very wrong for one particular reason. And like these blips that I'm talking about, conversations sustain themselves day to day to week to week. You want to follow this string and say, well, how long is this going to last? And sometimes they last for weeks. Only a stupid advertiser would not want to be part of conversations like that. That is what's missing. And not only that, you would say, okay, well, Zenny, this is YouTube Rewind. Are you telling me that you're saying that no conversations occurred in the Rewind in 2013? No, they did, but YouTube didn't allow them to percolate in the website design. So my new design personally for 2014 is I'm going to make vloggers, I'm going to make conversations because that's really where the future is. People want to talk about the changes around them. We're not stupid. 